Hello, welcome back to the Digital Imaging Channel. I'm Will, and today we're gonna to be running through the last three factors that will affect your paper scanning project cost. Factor number five is indexing. Indexing is basically how you're going to name the files once they're digitized. And this can be one of the most expensive parts of a project. Basically, the more complex you make your indexing, the more expensive it's gonna be. So if you're thinking I'm gonna do page level indexing or multiple records on each page or file level indexing, that's when it can be fairly expensive. The simplest ways to keep it at the physical separator level, such as a folder, or maybe even a staple or paper clip. If there's a physical separator, then we can physically identify this is where a new file is gonna be indexed. We're not looking on pages or figuring out, oh, where does this go? It's, well, here's a folder, that's the file. That's one way to keep your indexing simple. The absolute simplest way, let's say you're giving us 500 boxes to scan. You can do what we call the digital box. Basically, you scan the records, we capture everything in that box, but it's just indexed at the box level. Because if you have these in storage, let's say you're accessing them once or twice a month at most, you already know how to find the box. And once you're in the box, you can get to the file, but you're not doing that costly file level or page level indexing. You capture what it says on the box as it exists now, and that's how you're gonna access the record. Digital box is the simplest way for indexing paper records. Factor number six is the schedules. Basically, when you need the project started and when you need it done. What's the turnaround? Typically, when we work with clients, they'll say, I have X number of boxes or X number of files. We'll say, okay, here's your price, and that's based on roughly this timeline. So if we give you a timeline for a project, that's just our standard pace based on what we currently have and what we're working on already, our commitments. Let's say we give you a schedule of roughly five months for the project from start to finish. If you come back and say, okay, well, I need it done in two months, we can likely do that, but that may affect the price because we'll have to shift around commitments we're already working on or products that are coming in to make sure we get yours done in a certain timeline. So that schedule can affect the price of your project. And lastly, there's factor number seven, which is output, how you're getting your files delivered to you. The way we look at there are basically two output methods. There's the traditional method, which is probably what you think of when you hear about digitization and digital files. You're getting PDFs or TIFFs or JPEGs, and we're sending it to you on a USB drive, for instance. The second way is our digital real application where we're not delivering anything hard copy to you like a, a thumb drive or anything of that sort, but you're accessing your records through our digital real platform through a web browser. So instead of getting it deliverable, you just log in the secure portal and access the files that way. So depending on which method you decide, the traditional method or digital reel, or maybe both, that can also affect your overall project price. That's it, those are the last three factors that affect your paper scanning project. If you haven't seen already, go to part one of this series that shows the first four factors that affect your project price. Hope you enjoyed watching, subscribe to the channel to keep seeing more videos like this. Thank you and I'll see you next time.